that's another crossover episode from a formerly revolutionary left wing figure now playing footsie if not in bed and in a loving relationship with the hard right it's russell brand but let's see who he's talking to so absolutely i pray for my enemies i love them i care about them even though i hate what they do i love them because i don't want to see them cut off from god forever uh, lord jesus christ at the foot of your cross by your blood and by your wounds we pray for our enemies lord we pray for their forgiveness and we pray for redemption. We pray that we may belong to you individually and collectively and that we may become a vessel for your light. Holy Father, we know that we survive and thrive only by your grace and by your power, not by anything that we have done, but by, by what you do for us. In your holy name, Lord Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Oh, for fuck's sake, somebody slap him. Make him stop. Hold on. He's not done yet. Well, Alex, oh. I pray that the next few days for you uh, pass well and easily. I pray that we can continue to align and find ways to be of service and that the light prevails. Russell, thank you. I felt the Holy Spirit during that. To the point of I almost fell over. God bless you, and I appreciate you, Russell, and I uh, hope we can see you again in person. I love you. Yeah, I love you, man. I'll come to Dallas. Two more disgusting grifters you could not find and you got them together so th that's about as low as you could think first of all getting on there with alex jones and hamming it up but chris this is a revival of the maybe it never really went away but you know the great 1980s drive talk radio or the fire and brimstone type preachers with the obvious grift that they were doing i mean russell brand i mean alex jones was always doing this but russell brand absolutely shamelessly reinventing the wheel there without yeah. any <laughs> oh and the, and the context of this matt just to say so infowars is in financial trouble right because alex is being forced to repay the parents of the dead children from sandy hook that he demonized and helped his audience to target encouraged his audience to target so brand is talking to alex about you know how it feels for the deep state to try and you know cancel his platform and take away his voice and you know this is you know them praying that these evil people who are you know trying to shut down alex's voice that you know they find god and think about what they've done so it's even more despicable <laughs> than you might imagine and i'm going to return to my previous take that it is not a coincidence that this insane fundamentalist christian turn occurred right after these allegations of sexual misconduct against Brand. I mean, he's been victimized by the deep state too. They want to shut him down. I think that turn was on the cards as his right-wing audience grew, but it is it was definitely convenient, the timing, given all of that, right? Um, so yes, there is something to that, Matt, but these crossovers continue and, you know, there might be issues to some extent with horseshoe theory. It might not always hold, but there are certainly illustrations <laughs> that it does hold on some occasions, right? It does look like there's a reaching across from the Young Turks to Infowars or, you know, whatever Russell Brand, you, you categorize him as. So I'm just saying it does occur. There does seem to be something of uh, a horseshoe effect that occasionally happens that we yeah. might note. Yeah, I follow an account on Twitter called Post Left Watch, which um, yes. cites a number of convincing examples. But, yeah. you know, these are the people that are um, opposed to you and me, mindless defenders of the institutions and the orthodoxy, Chris. These are radical truth seekers looking to destabilize things, shake things up, speak truth to power. But we're going to stop them. <laughs> Mindless defender of the orthodoxy, indeed.